to go get my toes done um and then my wax is until five o'clock so i'll probably go somewhere and like eat like in between my wax appointment or in between my nail appointment and my wax appointment um my hair looks like stringy and i don't like that i need it to look i think it's because it's not fully dry like once it fully dries and it gets more like fluffy but it's still a little bit damp, so it looks a little stringy, but once I go outside, it'll be dry. So, yeah. Um, let me show y'all my outfit for today. I wore this yesterday when I was at home, but I was literally just at my parents' house, and then I wore it back when I drove back here last night. So, yeah, I put it back on. Um, but this little jacket is from Shein. Uh, this set is from Shein. It's just like a little like triangle set with biker shorts. Um, and then I have on my Telfar bag, my Yeezy slides, um, and that's pretty much it. And I'm gonna wear these shades that I think I got from Rainbow, I think. So my toes look a mess, but I'm literally heading straight to the nail place, so it doesn't really matter. Um, it is 12.57, and my nail appointment is at two. It's like 30 minutes away from me. So I'm gonna head out, um, and I'm just gonna take y'all along with me to all my appointments and stuff. So yeah, let's go. He was kind of being, and I'm, I'm not saying Glenn was involved, I'm not saying maybe he was just kind of an innocent guy making, that was used to make sure he got down there. But Glenn, and then I can imagine on dad saying, all right, if I... Toes are done. I'm gonna go home. I was gonna stop and get something to eat, but like I have food at the house, like, and some of it might go bad if I don't eat it soon because I'm gonna be gone for a week. Back home, let me show y'all my little my little piglets real quick. So, oh, hold on. Those are my toes. That's my toes. I got white crunch tip. Just wanted to show y'all my toes real quick. But I'm about to make something to eat. It's 3.44. True. Here's Chris again. It's not like the whole 5 million. Just made it to my appointment. It's literally 5.15 right now. My appointment, I think I said earlier my appointment was at 5. It was at 5.15. Well, it is at 5.15. Um, so, yeah. It's 5.15 right now. So, I'm about to walk in. I'm just going to leave y'all in here. But I'm going to come back, obviously, and pick the camera back up. Because I do still need to go to the mall. Yeah, I might go to Target today, too. We'll see. <coughs> so I just got back from my wax appointment. I was gonna go to the mall, um, but I didn't feel like it because I still have to wash and blow out my hair tonight because oh, there's something on my camera. I have to wash and blow out my hair tonight because my hair appointment is tomorrow at 11. So yeah, and I work tomorrow. So yeah, I need to do that tonight. I'm not gonna have time to do it tomorrow and make it all the way to Fredericksburg. Um, by 11 o'clock tomorrow so yeah i need to have my hair done tonight it's already 6 53 so seven o'clock um so yeah i need to wash my hair my underarms waxed don't mind like the little rash that's from something else but yeah got my underarms waxed got my other parts waxed and i got my legs waxed it's like the lower the lower half of my legs so yeah Hey y'all, so it's the next day. Um, it's Tuesday the 20th, I'm getting my hair done. Well, I'm not getting my hair done yet, but I'm in the parking lot, just pulled up. Um, it's 11.13, there's a 15 minute grace period, so I'm gonna walk in now, and I will see y'all when I get in. They do. Oh. Okay, girl. 
But yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm on her like a couple years ago. Nah, that's not true. That was so mean. Why? <laughs> what? That's not true. What? Girls is like fighting outside, and um, I don't even fight. Please, let's just not do all of that. Like, I don't even want to do all of that. Let's pass out. It's not gonna be me. I've never passed out in my life, and watch it be me just because I said that. But I saw my break into my car the other day. That's how I literally yanked my phone like ignition and stuff. Oh my god! Trying to steal the car, but obviously couldn't actually get it to start. So my daddy fixed it. Like really crazy because I was at work that day, like in the office, and one of the girls I be talking to, she was telling me how her brother has um, a Hyundai Elantra. Well, she didn't say that at first. She was saying like, "Oh, somebody broke into his car." So then I go outside, leave and work, and somebody literally broke into my car, and I oh messaged God. her, and I was like, "Wow." Yeah, then for like a week, no, it was maybe like two or three days, I had to start my car with a fucking um. What's that thing called? Pliers. For real? Yes, because I didn't have no ignition. Oh my god. <laughs> and every time I got my car, I'm looking around like, I really hope don't nobody see me doing this. It looks like I'm <laughs> still in the car. <laughs> like... never like legit peeled like how people be showing yes bro be looking crazy so Maya has never done that like it'll get a little bit dry a little bit flaky but not like that maybe it depends on like what kind of seal it is watch this oh, yes i seen it. i didn't see it but i seen it on the netflix thing Did you watch the, um, what was it called, the Murdoch movie? Yes! That was so crazy and so sad. Literally. Why, for so many years, no one has changed this, this is screwed up. That is why I'm telling you, when you miss your time back, you So y'all can see. So I got my little boho knotless braid. Shout out to my girl Chelsea. I will link her like braiding page and everything down below so that if y'all are in like the Fredericksburg area. She's not in Richmond, but I mean I drove to Fredericksburg because who else finna do my hair? Like be for real. Who else is finna do my braids? Nobody. So yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're in like the Fredericksburg kind of area, I will link her down below because she do her thing like look so neat parting is so neat my forehead is so big but that don't matter so i am about to start packing i'm not really gonna put the stuff in my suitcase until did i move my car i did i'm not gonna put the stuff i asked that because my suitcase is in my car well my small suitcase i don't know if i'm gonna bring my big one it depends i might bring the big one but if I can fit everything in my small one, then I'm gonna do the small one. But I don't know, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not really gonna pack pack today because I still need to, like I'm not actually gonna put the stuff in my suitcase today because I still need to go, I need to go get little travel size like toothpaste and a travel toothbrush and stuff like that before, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. This tripod is throwing me off. 
basically what I was saying was I need to go get like travel size stuff so that's why I'm not gonna like pack the stuff in my suitcase yet because I want to do like a pack with me TikTok because I haven't gotten into TikTok. Chelsea, my girl that was doing my hair and her little sister was like, why you don't do TikTok, girl? Like you do YouTube, why you don't do TikTok? And I feel like they bullied me into doing TikTok. Not that I don't want to do TikTok, I just haven't gotten into it like everybody else, but I feel like this is the perfect trip to start. Okay, so let me go get the rest of my clothes out of my room and then we're gonna put my outfits together. Okay, so for Capri, I'm only gonna be there for two days that I need like actual outfits and then I leave on the third day. So. Friday night, we're gonna do dinner. Um, and then we're also gonna go to a lounge. So I have a couple of outfits. I'm gonna try them on because I told her I was gonna try some outfits on to show her and ask her which one she think I should wear to dinner. So I have, that's not bringing that at all. This is probably going to be to Vegas. Not sure about that, not sure about that. Uh, also not sure about this. But where's the outfit that I know I'm bringing to Vegas? Third, which y'all seen in my other Shein haul, like the one I did a couple of weeks ago or a month or so ago, however long, this little asymmetrical, um, like, little top or whatever. And I'm wearing with some denim shorts that I need to wash. Maybe would I wear ATV riding? I think, no, I don't know. What's the other? I wonder if Capri plans on changing, like from what she's gonna wear to dinner. Is it this? I wear to dinner. Which is like this little mesh top and bottom set, like top and skirt. And then I have like pink heels that I think I'm aware of this. So that's for Friday night in Atlanta. And then Saturday for brunch. What do I want to wear to brunch? Because we're going straight from brunch to this thing called Beat the Bomb. Which she said bring some tennis shoes for, for like after brunch. So I'm thinking to wear something that's going to go cute with like heels and tennis shoes. This little jumpsuit, which y'all saw in the other Shein haul as well, with the back out, little heels to dress it up. And then I'm going to change into my Vans, I think, for like the little beat the bomb activity that we're doing. Pack these jeans. And what top should I pack? What's going to be the weather? So just this white, like, twisted front top that I think I'm going to wear with these jeans. And then I'll put on like some little slides or like some little sandals or something. So now to Vegas. So we have a Vegas itinerary. So let me go to, let me find that really quick. This is what it looks like. Real cute. The one that Capri sent me wasn't, it was just like a little note that she sent me. But this one is actually like, you know, she made a little, it's really, really cute. The Vegas itinerary. So. I'm, I think I'm gonna miss the, the pool party that they're going to in Vegas, which I'm really sad about. But because I'm not getting there till Sunday, um, and my plane doesn't land until 3.20, like Vegas time, and the pool party starts at 12, but we have dinner at 8.30, and it's like by the time I get off, that's if the plane, you know, is on time. I got like metallic bathing suits to wear, but I didn't really like think about the timing aspect of it. So yeah, I'm sad about that, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. So anyway, I pack my metallic bathing suit. I got a pink metallic one from Shein. So I'm still gonna pack that. So that'll be an outfit. Um, and I'll probably just put on like, I don't know, like some shorts over top of it. I don't know. Dinner. Okay, so that's like my first real outfit that I need to have packed for Vegas. So what am I gonna wear to her birthday dinner? It's like red and black is kind of the aesthetic. I got this orange dress. This will also be in the next Shein haul. Y'all haven't seen this one yet, but okay. This will probably be Shadi's birthday dinner dress for me. I wanna get blue for Blue Martini. I don't know if it's actually blue, like blue in there. Let me look on TikTok again. I feel like I looked this place up already, but I forgot. Wear this. I have this little like halter top uh, bodysuit 
not halter top, tube top, like this. Um, body suits, and I'm thinking about wearing it with some denim shorts and some blue heels. Got toothbrush, mouthwash, lotion, and toothpaste and deodorant. What else did I have on my list? Regina Hydrables. The Hydro Boost stuff, but I don't see the moisturizer. I found it, so I got that. Press ones are over here. Look at these, but they don't have these in petite. And last time I got the small or short, they didn't, they were too big. So I'm gonna get these because they have them in petite. So they're still French tip, but they're just like a nude color and not just like pink and white, you know. I want these, but they're gonna be too big. Um, like 16 photos for $30. What the hell? I pack with 40 photos. I just don't know how much it is. Cause 16 for $30, yeah, okay. I'm just gonna get the 16 for $30 cuz yeah okay so I think that's it that I needed to buy everything else is at home and I just have to pack so let's go to put some stuff in the washing machine um really quick Everything that's in the washing machine isn't, it's really nothing that I'm taking with me. The stuff that I was taking with me, I washed last night and dried this morning. So yeah, already have that stuff. The, everything else that I'm washing is just so that I don't come home to a full hamper of clothes because I'm already going to have a full hamper of dirty clothes. You know, I'm going to have a suitcase full of dirty clothes when I get back anyway. So I just want everything to already be washed before I go. My Atlanta stuff and I feel like it's taking up this whole suitcase already wow um I'm still gonna try to fit everything in this bag because I really don't want to take the big one I want to take the small one so we're gonna try to fit everything so yeah So it's a little while later. Um, I packed my actual suitcase. If y'all can kind of see that right there. I almost forgot that bag. 
but I just I just seen it and I just remembered so I'm gonna open that back up I gotta open the suitcase back up anyway so that I can take out a pair of sandals that I have in there um, I'm gonna wear those to the airport but now I'm packing my carry-on bag and my carry-on bag is gonna be like all my tech stuff because uh, I am gonna bring my laptop and my hard drive and stuff. Sorry, my nose itch. I don't want to like run out of storage on my SD card and not be able to transfer it to my laptop so that I can have more storage. You know, I don't want to be cut short on like filming because I do want to get as much content as I can. So right now, like I said, I'm packing my carry-on bag, which I'm bringing like all my accessories and stuff in this bag. So earrings this is all of my jewelry. Then I have two new anklets bringing this little thing little pouchy thing to put like my cords and stuff in so i'm also bringing like my battery charger shades so i'm packing these little brown pair and these white ones these big black ones i'm also bringing these little black ones and i'm bringing some um, flushable wipes my little tripod which this might be the one i carry well, I'm taking this as my carry-on anyway, so yeah, I can put this in here. I'll take the one that y'all are on as well, because that's like the tall one that I can, you know, stand up glosses. And I also have some in my makeup bag, but these are the three that I'm going to keep with me. This is my Polaroid camera. I don't know if y'all ever seen this. I got this for Christmas or my birthday or whatever. Some of the stuff I'm going to see if I can get in my suitcase when I open it back up. And the other stuff I'm going to keep, you know, as the carry-on. Hey y'all, so as y'all can see, I did one lash already. Let me show y'all the um the lashes that I got. Usually I use the Kiss Falscara. Also get the Eyler, Eyler Wild and Wispy or either the Pink Pack, which is like Wispy and something else. I forgot, but it's like a light pink pack, but it's still from Eyler. And I just cut those up and I put them on because those are strip lashes. And I just cut them up and I put them on like with the bonding stuff. But this time, I got these ones off of Amazon, which is like a whole kit. Similar to the Kiss one, like it comes with the tweezers, comes with the bond and the seal. This is makeup remover, I guess to help remove the lashes. And this is like the kit that it comes in. Like this is what it looks like. Like the box. And this is from the brand QL. I guess that's how you say it, QL, QL. And it comes with all these lashes. The whole set was $30. But you get a lot more lashes than you do with the Kiss Falscara one. And that one is like $25. This one's like $28 and some change. I got the Honey. I guess this is the style Honey 01 D Mix. Link these below. I really, really like them. And this bond is way better than the Kiss one to me. So far. This one actually tells you like what the length is. The other, the Kiss ones, they just say like long, short, medium, whatever. These ones go from 8 millimeters to 16 so i have on what do i have on i have a 12 at the end i think i have two 12s at the end and then i have 10s in the middle and then two eights in the corner i think so i think i have two 12s two 10s and two eights short and like you know natural but still full i'm pretty sure i've showed y'all how to do these lashes before obviously this is just a different like brand but it's the same thing so the bond and stuff is like a mascara wand so you just put like a light coat all over your lashes put some of the bonding stuff on the base of the lashes to get it as close as you can without it actually like touching your eyeball cuz girl it's gonna bother you so bad Call me if you want to get hot, 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 hot. Alright, so those are the lashes. Let's see. Let me bring y'all closer. These are the lashes. Okay. Cute. I really, really like them. That's that. I do also have to do my nails. So, oh, did he call me? My bad. Call me when you want to get hot, 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 hot. All right, see y'all. Thank you. 